Hello students, welcome to PHRMG Creations. Today I'm going to teach you, simple, and interesting theorem, the midpoint theorem. Let's move to the theorem, it says that. The straight line segment through the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, is parallel to the third side, and equal in length to half of it. The midpoint theorem is a result related to the lengths of the sides of a triangle. Let P be the midpoint of the side, A, B, and Q be the midpoint of the side, A, C of the triangle, A, B, C. Then, A, P equals P, B, and A, Q equals Q, C. This can also be written as, A, P equals P, B, equals half of A, B, and A. Q equals Q, C, equals half of A, C. PQ is the line segment obtained by joining the midpoints of the sides A, B and A, C. In relation to the above figure, according to the theorem, PQ parallel BC, and PQ equals half of BC. Therefore you must keep in mind that, when a line draw in between midpoint of the two lines of the triangle, that line is parallel to the third line, and equal to the half of the length of it. Let's move to our first example. Based on the information in the figure. First part, if the perimeter, of A, B, C, is 22 centimeters, A, B equals, 8 centimeters, and B, C equals 10 centimeters, Find the perimeter of the triangle P, B, Q. Second part, if B equals 40 degrees, and C equals 65 degrees, find the remaining angles in the quadrilateral P, Q, C, A. Eh? First, I am going to solve the part 1 of the example. Perimeter of A, B, C is given as 22 centimeters. Perimeter of P, B, Q can written as P, B, plus B, Q, plus P, Q. Also, it can be written as half of A, B, plus half of B, C, plus P, Q. According to the theorem we can say P, Q equals half of A, C. Therefore perimeter of P, B, Q can be written as half of Perimeter of ABC triangle. But we already know that perimeter of ABC is equal to 22 centimeters. Then perimeter of PBQ can obtain as 11 centimeters. Let's move to second part of the question. There are three angles to find out in the quadrilateral P, Q, C, A. Those are angle B. A, C, angle, A, P, Q, angle, P, Q, C, angle, B, A, C, plus, angle, A, B, C, plus, angle, A, C, B, equals 180 degrees, because summation of the angles in triangle equals 180 degrees, but, angle, A, B, C, equals 40, and, a, C, B, equals, 65 degrees. Therefore, angle, B, A, C, can obtain as, 75 degrees. According to midpoint theorem, A, C, parallel to, P, Q, therefore, angle, P, A, C, equals B, P, Q equals 75 degrees because those are, corresponding angles. Angle A, P, Q, and B, P, Q are angles on straight line, therefore A, P, Q, plus B, P, Q equals 180 degrees. But angle B, P, Q equals 75 degrees. Then angle A, P, Q can obtain as 105 degrees. Also, angle A, C, Q, and angle P, Q, B, R, corresponding angles. 
Therefore, angle A, C, Q, equals P, Q, B equals 65 degrees. Angle P, Q, B, plus P, Q, C, equals 180 degrees, because they are angles on a straight line. 65 plus P, Q, C equals 180 degrees. Then angle P, Q, C can finally obtain as 115 degrees.